Hello guys, uh, welcome back. I know it's been a long time since I've done this, but welcome back to idea.org. This is the equivalent of the Duke of Edinburgh badge, uh, but it's like an online version of that. So I'm sorry I've taken such a long time to upload a video. I've had a lot of things going on and COVID has hit me quite hard. Um, but that's not going to stop me from uploading these videos. I just needed a break. I needed a big break. And I uh, just wanted to say I'm back on track. So today we are doing the influencer badge. Uh, if you want to see another uh, badge, please go ahead and write the name of it in the comment below. Uh, and yeah, let's get started with it. So let's go start the badge. Become an idea influencer. Social selling is integral to establishing and then scaling a business. By getting in touch with your contacts, you will need to persuade and influence them and drive behavioral change. Copy your unique idea influencer link below and share it within your network. Once five people have both signed up for idea, using your link and completed their first badge, you will be awarded uh, 10 points. Okay, so I see how this works. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and and I'm going to place I'm going to place this in the comments below. Now, if you guys go ahead and uh, click that link and sign up to idea.org through this link um, You will help me get five points and in return everybody who does that I want you to post your um, Link in the comments below and what we'll do is we'll get we'll get a little thing going where people are um, joining idea and uh, They're going to basically accept this invite that you'll get given and you'll get yourself a free 10 points now I didn't actually know this badge was going to be so simple so we'll go back and we'll choose a different badge I didn't know it was going to be uh, as simple as that what badge are we going to do now okay then uh, let's do social media and business that's a good one to do so we'll do social media and business because it's on the same topic as uh, imp influencer so here we go Social media has a huge impact on how companies brand. It's perceived by its customers and therefore can affect revenue and sales. Okay. As with many new technologies, social media is rapidly growing and changing all the time, which can make it daunting to know where to start. It's also important to think carefully about the content you share. Trust and confidence take a long time to build, but can be shattered in minutes. In the context of social media, reputations can be lost. We all know about that. An example would be Cyberpunk. That's a very big reputation loss um, from when they released the game a few months early, and that was why they lost the representation. Sometimes, irrepar I can't say that word. Irreparability, irreparable, because of how hastily or misguided postings on social media. In this badge you will learn the following. Which platforms to use for different businesses and why? What types of content businesses publish and share on social media? How business share and publish content? The basics of social media marketing. How to measure act success. Okay, let's go ahead and start the badge. Which platforms to use for different business and why? Choosing a social platform for your business can be more complicated than you would think. You can start by access accessing the most popular and extremely used platform. You can think about what, uh, about which give you the best exposure with your target audience. You'll also need to access uh, which one will help you meet your marketing goals. So we've got Facebook, for example. This is by far the largest platform with billions of monthly active users, the majority of whom are between the ages of 25 and 54. Facebook is good for lead generation, identifying and cultivating potential customers for your business, product or services. And its advertising platform can be highly customized to target very specific audiences. Facebook is a good platform for building rep relationships, showing the human side of your business and turning leads into loyal followers and customers. Many different content types are appropriate for Facebook. But it's important to share content that reveals something interesting or distinctive about your company. Facebook and Twitter are both excellent for reaching large numbers of people. 
eye-catching content helps to stand out in people's timelines. Tip. On Facebook, videos have higher engagement than images or links. Videos uploaded directly to Facebook tend to receive more engagement and shares than YouTube links. It's great for curated content and videos. Okay, so that's what Twitter's good for. Oh, we've got LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a very specific demographic, as the majority of the users between the ages of 30 and 49. Because LinkedIn is a professional networking platform, we recommend you, you try Social Media Setup Badge for more information, the most suitable content for a LinkedIn post, or Share Share is a job listings, career, information, and business-related editorial content. You can also share company news and milestones on your LinkedIn company page, or you can share content that's relevant to the professionals in your target audience. This includes training webinars, industrial news, and industrial studies. Your LinkedIn company page is a great channel for potential new employees to learn about your company. For example, your company culture, employees, experiences, working at your company, employees, achievements, open job positions. Tip. If you would like to drive engagement on your LinkedIn posts, Attach an image or a video as it generally leads to higher comment and share rate on LinkedIn. It's great for jobs, professional content and company news. Okay, so moving on to Twitter. Twitter is the go-to platform if your business is all about immediacy. And if you want to reach out to followers with breaking news, announcements, important messages and other in-the-moment information. Most of Twitter users are under the age of 50, and Twitter makes it a great platform for sharing news, industry news, company news, product news, and the type of content that works best on this platform is easily digestible textual content, such as how-to articles, lists, and quotes. If you have ever created a GIF for your posts, Twitter is the best platform for sharing them. Twitter is one of the most social media platforms where GIFs first became popular. And GIFs are still very popular today on Twitter. Tip. Learn more about GIFs with the Idea Gift Making Badge. Find it in the Maker category in the store. So there's a bit of a badge you can learn about Twitter. And Twitter's great for news, blog posts, and GIFs. Okay, we've got Instagram next. Great. Instagram's going to be awesome. Instagram. With hundreds of millions of active users, Instagram is one of the most popular social networks posts are categorised. With the use of hashtags, which means using the right hashtag will help your post reach the right audience. It's all about imaginary on Instagram, so it's important that your videos and photos you're sharing are high quality. Here are some examples of high quality photos and videos you can post to Instagram. Instagram. Instagram? That could be something. Hey, could we be onto something there? If anybody wants to create an app, Instagram. That's actually a really cool app name. Anyway, that could be like a that could be like a pro version of Instagram. Just put it there. Um, product photos. If you if you sell f- physical products such as fashion, furniture, or food, post high resolution photos of your products in different settings, behind the scenes. These could be photos of events that are making the, of a product or people who are working in the company. Curated content, otherwise known as user-generated content, UGC. Why not create content? Make sure to ask permission from the original author before reposting content. And you should also tag them in the caption. Quotes. Inspirational and motivational quotes are some of the most popular pieces of content on Instagram. Instagram stories. Many people create uh, a look and feel for their Instagram profile, which reflects their branding and product or service offer in terms of the tone and personality. If, if you want to experiment a bit, try different ideas out. Instagram stories are useful because they disappear after four to, uh, 24 hours. There are many different ways of using Instagram stories for your business. Here are a few examples. Promote a blog post, share how-to tutorials, share a list, share announcements, news and updates. 
offer giveaways, discount coupons, share photographs, videos and events as it unfolds, announce limited time offers and promotions. Okay, so here's a rundown of what it's for. Uh, high res photos, quotes and stories. Pinterest, okay. Uh, there are more women and, than men on Pinterest and it's graphics heavy platform that le le uh, leads itself to decor, food, art, fashion, wedding, travel and other businesses that can leverage content featuring beautiful photographs. At its essence, Pinterest is a kind of virtual bulletin board and doesn't entirely adhere to setup of a conventional social network. Although traditional aspects of social media like communication don't play such a large role on the site, the network is a great tool for increasing customer loyalty and strengthening your brand. If you follow someone on Pinterest, you will then receive their latest pins in your feed. As a further advertising option, promoted pins are included onto the natural organic content of users' feeds. When you start posting images on Pinterest, Make sure they link back to the rated blog or page on your website as people click through from your image to, to your site. They want to see, some re or see or read something that's related to the image that's caught their eye. Once you begin posting, organise your Pinterest by dividing it into boards. Each board should have a category rel relative to different aspects of your business. Make it simple for your followers and find what they're looking for. Also make sure the caption is in keyword optimized. Okay. And here's a rundown for them. It's infographics and then step by photo guides. Okay. We've got YouTube and Snapchat is the last one. Great. Okay. There's a lot of them. YouTube is a great tool for getting your business. Uh, hey. Well, I mean, if you hit that subscribe button right now, I mean, you're kind of helping me out and you're kind of learning stuff as well. Okay, YouTube is a great tool for getting your business valuable exposure. Videos are a lot more engaging and uh, shareable than text content, and they also aid your search in the ranking Google. When creating your videos for YouTube, quality matters. Make sure that there's a purpose and value to what you're uploading and soaring. Also pay attention to your production values, as both the video and audience, uh, audio of your what you upload. And this is actually a good key point. I'm actually using a new mic today, guys. My new mic that I'm using t today is the, if I can get the name of this, GTX, no, the new mic I am uh, using today, I can just find it on my Amazon account actually, it'd be easier to do it through here, I think, okay, uh, I'll be back in one second when I get the new microphone, okay, so this is the new microphone that I'm currently using, it is the Trust Gaming GTX 232 Mantis, um, so, this is an upgrade from what you my other videos. I just wanted to let you know, see if there's any difference. And uh, since it is is technically on YouTube, this is uh, something that I've gone ahead and brought for the beneficial of our of my channel, basically. But okay, we'll go ahead and go back to um, what we've been doing: social media and business. Okay. So also pay pay the uh, so video and audio of what you upload should be crisp, clear, easy to understand and reflective of your brand. YouTube gives you a gateway to be an educator in your industry. Upload webinars or videos addressing important topics that further the knowledge of the awareness of your audience. Videos posted to YouTube can be shared on other platforms too. For example, a webinar or a how-to video could also make a great content for your business. This is LinkedIn page. It's great for how-to videos, webinars, and promotional videos. Okay. Snapchat. Snapchat is especially popular among teenagers. This can partly be credited to the host of playful features that the app offers. A person or business on Snapchat can send photos and videos called snaps to their friends. Followers, these snaps can be viewed for up to 10 seconds before they're deleted. Snapchat offers some special paid marketing options for businesses. You can create clever snap ad, build a fun sponsored geo filter, or give people an opportunity to, to interact with sponsored lens. Snap ad, a 10 second full screen vertical video ad that appears between stories. 
Advertisers can offer Snapchatters the choice to swipe up to view more in-depth content like long from video article, app, install ad or mobile website. Geo filters, small art graphics that show up over a snap. When Snapchatters take a snap uh, while they're in the location of your device, so you have your choice, they'll be able to select your geo filter and use it to explain where, when and why they took the snap. Sponsored lenses. Give Snapchat users the chance to play with the interactive ad you've created as Snapchat explains on their website. To activate lenses, Snapchatters simply press and hold on their faces. Some lenses include prompts like raise your eyebrows or to try and trigger an animation, adding a few twists to the experience. And when you're finished playing, it's easy to, to send lenses to your friends or post one to your story. On average, Snapchatters play with Spencer's lenses for 20 seconds. I didn't know that. Special offers and innovative marketing company uh, campaigns. Okay. The coffee shop. You've learned the social media platforms differ in terms of audience profiles and types of content. A chain of coffee shops is using social media as part of their marketing strategy. Their marketing goals are promote a new line of coffee, uh, cold coffee drinks, and increase brand awareness, 15% by the end of the summer. By the end of the summer, increase the number of store visits by 10% to achieve this objective. Engage with customers that don't necessarily associate coffee shops with cold beverages. The, cold, uh, the company's marketing ter- team has prepared a few pieces of content that you will need to post social media. Using what you've just learned to think about how you would make the best use of content. Okay. A short video tutorial that shows people how to prepare the perfect cold cappuccino. To share the tutorial on your business Facebook page, would it be better to first upload the video to your YouTube channel and then share the link or should you upload it directly to Facebook? Um, I think you should upload it to YouTube then share the link. Yeah, and um, okay, maybe not upload the video direct to Facebook. Okay. Oh yeah, cause yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So we upload it direct to Facebook. As we've learned already, videos uploaded direct to Facebook tend to receive more engagement and shares than the YouTube links. Okay. A short video tutorial that shows people how to prepare the perfect cold cappuccino. The video uh, is two minutes. And 30 seconds long. How would you share it with your followers on Instagram? Uh, share one of the answers. Upload the video to your feed and don't forget to include relevant hashtags in the caption. Upload a beautiful still from the video your feed and put the link to the video in your bio. Um, I think you wanted to no. Okay, I'm, I'm really bad at this. Okay, try again. No, we do it. This is it. We got this one. Okay. So yeah, you want to do a still image and then link them to the video. Okay. Right, okay. Photographs of staff in the stores enjoying the new cold coffee drinks. Is it appropriate to share photographs of the staff enjoying new cold coffee drinks on social media? Or would you rather them use rather use them for staff newsletters? The photographs would make a great behind the scenes post. Share them on Instagram on the day when it's uh, hot outside. The photographs make it look like the staff aren't working. Nope. So you want it to uh, appear as if they are um, like doing the job nice and they've been rewarded by a cool, nice cold beverage on a hot day. Okay, next one. Photographs of staff in the stores enjoying new cold. Okay, uh, basically the same thing, but coffee drinks. Apart from Instagram, where else might be appropriate to share content? Set five answers. Okay. Uh, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, YouTube, and Snapchat. No? Okay. Okay. Mm, okay. You, uh, I'm going to say Pinterest, Twitter, Snapchat, and Facebook. That's one, two, three, four, five. Wait. I'm so confused, like, apart from Instagram, okay, is that meant to be Instagram? I think it is. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. 
No, that's I'm not sure. Isn't that LinkedIn? Right, okay. Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Snapchat. Please select five answers, okay. LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. I'm just going to keep trying because I'm not entirely sure what the correct answers are. Okay, there we go. Got it, okay. So why is a Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, and Snapchat are the answers? Okay. Photos of gorgeous cups, newly designed especially for the new range of drinks. You want to share these photos in on Pinterest. What must you remember to include? Select two answers. A link to the new menu. The time and date location on which the photos were taken. Keywords. If you need keywords, that's one. How much the new cups of coffee uh, cost in the shop? A link to the new menu. Yeah. So we want to have the right keywords in our post, and we also want to link them to the new menu to show them what's new. The next. Photos of gorgeous cups, new designed especially for the new range of drinks. The coffee shop has many different boards on Pinterest. Which ones would be the most appropriate for these photos? Okay. So we've got um, uh, cups and saucers. Um, set two answers, okay. Summer specials, yeah, because we've got the cups and saucers, which are like that's that's the name of the, the like the thing you're you're promoting, and then you've got like the style of it, which is like summer. It's meant to be like in the summer season. We have to continue now. We've got more. Yay! Okay, it's fine. Right. Okay. And more loading. Great. What types of content businesses publish and share on most social media? Social media marketing is all about more than just promotional updates. In social media, marketing efforts are built on trust, engagement and community. There is space for promotional messages, but by broadening your scope a bit, you, your content will be more engaging. Content options may include the following. Adjacent content. It's likely that someone is following you, then they're interested in what you're offering, but their interests probably don't stop there. Share the content that's tangentially. Why is this, this vocabulary, vocabulary, vocabulary so damn hard? Dear Lord. Tang, tangen, tangentially, tangentially relevant to your business or something involving common interests of your audience. For example, if you are a fitness clothing brand, you could post tips for maximizing the benefits of your workout in this situation. You're demonstrating your expertise and your followers will benefit from the reading your content. Okay, recruitment. Many businesses use social media to promote job openings. Find new talent. Job seekers are increasingly using social media as a way of learning about business and their open positions. It's a perfect match. Perfect match. Response. Social media relies on conversations, so join in. This is a really good to, uh, way to make your account and a brand more visible. Look for conversation and posts that are relevant to your business, and then reply, comment, like, and share. Okay, non-promotional company information. Give your audience a backstage insight into the culture and community within your organisation. If you do something special for a team member's birthday, you could consider sharing it with your followers. This helps to hum humanize, 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 I can't fucking, right, humanize, humanize, there we go. Humanize your brand, there we are. Continue. The flower shop. Okay. I'm oh, now we're doing another flower shop, okay. You've learned that social media marketing efforts built in trust, engagement, and community. Which of the following actions below show examples of how a flower business can use social media to engage with their audience? That goes beyond promotional messages. Select four answers, okay? A tutorial video on how to make a flower uh, arrangement, yes. A poll asking your audience about their favourite flowers, yes. A caption write, uh, writing contest. Um, a sale offer, a sale offer, offer related to Valentine's Day, yes. An advert to recruit delivery drivers. Information on the spring sales you offers, yes. Nope. Yes. 
Yes. We're going to just create trainers. Um, yes. Yes. Nope. I'm just going to keep trying these um, until we get it right. It's what it's for of these. This is the, this is why I don't like this because it should sh at least like give you a hint towards the, the next like goal, but it doesn't. So let's go ahead and um, well, I'm trying to think it logically, but it's not right working. A caption writing contest. Yes. 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 And information about your stores. Maybe it's not actually. No, no. I think we're we'll right with this and that one there, and then our delivery drivers. Yes. Okay. Okay. There we go. So that's the answer. Great. So let's go ahead and just continue. Of course, we've got a world church now. Great. I love world church. World church. What? What is going on? Guidelines. There we go. Participation. Participation. Gamification. There's no gamification. I have not even heard of that word before, but okay. Where is that? There we go. G. Uh, uh, where is it? Where is it? Okay. We'll come back to that one. Listen. Okay. Listen, 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 listen. Bet you've already spotted this now, aren't you? All you people watching now have already found these. And I'm sat here like an idiot looking through them. Um, consistency, uh, con, consistency, there we go, oops, consistency, engagement, so we can find engage, engagement, um, in, in, uh, nope, that's not, engagement, 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 where is it, where is it? Um, 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 okay, where are they? Okay, well, let's um, skip the engagement for now. Let's use humanize, 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 humanize. H, 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 there, humanize, there we go. Monitor, okay. So let's go ahead and find that. Um, gosh, there's a lot of them here, just saying. Okay, we've got audience. No, we don't. Um, monitor, 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 monitor. Um, well, we'll skip monitor and go to audience for now. We'll always come back to it. So, audience, audience, audience. Um, gotta find audience. Where is it? Where is audience? Okay. So, that looks like it, but it's, it's about wrong. Is that it? Okay, there we go. Audience backwards. Okay, so they can be backwards. That makes things a little bit more complicated, but not, I think, gradually. Gamification has got to be somewhere around here then. G. Uh, okay, well, so let's, let's go down. Let's go to branding. Branding, branding, branding. Um, come on, where are you? Branding, branding, branding. Uh, where are you? Let's leave that one for now and we'll come back to it. If I see it, I'll do it and then updates. Okay, we can look for that one. You, 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 you. Where's you now? On here. Okay, there's you there, but it doesn't. There's no P next to it, so that's not it. Um, you, no. 
Come on, find another U. There's another U there. No P's next to it though. Where's the U's at, man? There we go, updates. Okay, so now we've got branding. We're looking for branding. Let's go back up the list. Uh, there we go. Got it. Branding. Monitor. Okay, so let's look for M. O N M O N M O N M O N M O N M O M M O N M O N. There we go. Got it. Engagement. So we'll look for E N G E N G E N G E N G E N G. Oh, it can go diagonally. Oh no. E N G. E, E N nope. E N nope. Um nope. E N uh, nope. It's got to be long ways or diagonal. That's the only thing. E N G, E nope. E nope. E nope. So we cross those two E's out, we'll keep going down. E, nope, nope, nope. There we go, ENG, engagement. There we go. Listen, so I've got to find listen. L, I, S, L, I, S, L, I, S, L, I, S, L, I, S. Oops, no, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I didn't know you could click them off. Click them off. Um, listen. Okay. L. I S L I S. I can't find it. Oh, there we go. Listen, right across the top. There we go. Gamification. Okay, let's look with G A M G A M G A M G A M G E no G. Nope, G, nope, G, A, M, nope, okay, G, A, M, nope, G, A, M, you're looking for G, A, M, that's what we're looking for, I uh, can't find it, there we go, got it, gamification, there we go, okay, good work, let's understand a little more about how businesses share published content on social media. Frequency of updates. Users tend to reach the uh, reach for most recent posts on their feeds, such as uh, so. Social media updates might not last long. Oh. The mission is to find the fine balance between not overwhelming your audience with too many posts and keeping your posts visible for as much time as possible. The frequency of which you should uh, uh, if you update your posts depends on your type of business. If you're a news organisation, you might expect it to post more regularly than, for example, if you're an accountant. Oops, Daisy. Your audience and how hungry they are for the information. And, of course, what you have to say. Although you can find an abundance of online resources that can be used as guidelines, you will have to evaluate for yourself what works best for your type of business on each platform. Okay. Engagement. There are a few ways your business can engage with your audience on social media. Monitoring and listening. As sharing your content should be collected on how you, uh, collect data on how your audience reacts to it. Monitoring how, how much engagement your posts have is also a way of uh, assessing the quality of your content. You are publishing. You may reevaluate the timing of your updates, uh, the format of the sentence structure you use to use, and even the type of media you're using. Social lis uh, listening data might provide valuable insights for businesses such as your product feedback channel, your user experience, consultation, and even early warning system for when things are gone wrong. Cross-promoting. Cross-promotion is an easy way to help others find your content. Ensure your website is linked from your social properties. Keep, uh, keep all of your profile names the same across all social channel channels. 
wherever possible and cross promote your account. Participating. If you want the community to help or participate in other other particular way, respond but to users' mentions, questions, commentary, etc. By investing in the relationship with your audience and earning their loyalty, you can ask for a survey participation, product feedback, or any other action that suits the goals of your social media strategies. Note, anything that you do uh, do do request personal data from anyone should be compliant with the government rules. Uh, the idea badge is coming soon, so look out for it. So that's com coming soon. Gamifying. Pe people enjoy competition and like being rewarded for achievements. Adding game-like elements into your marketing mix-up can help inspire your community, build on your existing social marketing and increase sentimental relation and loyalty. Consi constant branding and voice. Your social presence is just an extension of your brand, allowing that brand to reach many people through the network experience. This can bo uh, be both a risk and an opportunity, so it is important to spend the time it takes to decide and define what your brand will be in a social environment, as inconsistency in this area can lead to a disjointed customer experience or even a negative impact. Get to know your audience, know your audience, be on brand, but also be relevant to the environment in which you are working, your audience or social platform you are engaging on may require you slightly change your tone of voice. This is where it's important to have a real, real solid understanding of your brand so you can adapt necessary, use analytics to monitor and get a better understanding of your audience. You will learn more about the use of analytics social media le uh, letter in this badge, later in this badge. Later in this badge, oh, it's not finished yet. No, okay, it's fine. Guidelines, reform from the guidelines and human humanize, okay. Again, you can read them if you if you read them if you want to. Um, I, there's a lot of reading this badge. I've read quite a lot already, but we are going to uh, just kind of go through a little bit further. How to earn familiarity, trust, familiarity, and trust and likely of being in your community. Uh, building reputation. These are the qualities of uh, of uh, is part of goals to building relationships. Building relationships online, your brand. It's all different from building the relationships offline. Be present, add value, practice equitable. Equ 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 I can't say the word. Be inclusive. Uh, they're quite self-explanatory words there, so I'm not going to read them. But you can pause the video here if you do want to read them. Quite self-explanatory though. Okay, crisis management. Hopefully, you'll never be faced with a crisis, but it's important to be prepared, especially as social media can uh, add an extra layer of complication to the situation. The best way to fight chaos is with clarity. It is also critical not to be over hasty or throughness, including reacting to the heart of the moment. Emotions could cloud your judgment. When in, in a crisis mode work, to first understand the level of severity, then identify the potential risks, intensity showing empathy, transparency and willingness to correct whatever may have gone wrong. Afterwards, examining the impact and repelling, so pulling insight from the situation can help business heal, move forward and gain traction towards a strong positive pos position, which will help you safeguard against other problems in the future. When thinking about crisis management, all companies should be in one of the following four stages of, at all times. Preparation. Again, you can you can pause it here and read these. They're all uh, very very basic and self kind of explanatory. explanatory. So um, go ahead and read them if you want to. Uh, responding, recovery, and prevention. Okay, continue. The supermarket. Social media can add an extra layer of complication to a crisis transition situation. Sorry. Let's us say a supermarket has been accused of having a her horse meat in their beef burgers and it's suffering a social media backlash. Which of the following best immediate courses of actions is this situation? Slept two. Uh, withdrawal sales of the product. Well yes, you want to do that, definitely. Ignore the fact since social media has no impact with it. Nope. Continue sales of the product. Nope. Apologise. Yep. 
The best way to fight Chaos is clarity. Following an immediate actions, what else could a company do? Select three answers. Refund the customers that refunded the product, uh, purchased the product. Put the products back on the sale. Um, use social media to keep customers informed of the investigations proceeding. Yes. Investigate the matter and refund the, the um, refund the uh, money if they wanted to. Okay. Are the statements true or false? Is it okay to overlook new followers and community members? False. By offering any kind of assistance and or facilitating a problem solving via social media, uh, you are adding value to your business. Yes. The frequency and quality of your content you produce is important to keep your audience invested. Yes, true. To keep your brand at the top of people's minds, it is mandatory to produce and publish as many posts as possible. Um, true? No. False. False, true, true, false. That's what I was going for the first time. Okay. You don't have to post constantly. That's a lie. Uh, that's just something that is like a lot of people think you have to do as a business, but nope. Okay, smart goals. Getting somewhere now, I think. Or not. <laughs> Why do they make them so long? Like, seriously. Okay, the basics of social marketing. Smart goals. Again, there is a lot of text here, and I have like been talking for the last 40 minutes. So rather than me bore you, uh, you I can the last two pages I'm going to just let you pause the video here and read for yourself. Um, we'll go ahead and just scroll down, and feel free to pause the video whenever you want to, um, if you need to read this, because I need to give my voice a break basically. Okay. Okay, so we're moving on. Again, pause the video if you need to look at them. Uh, that's the last chance to look at them now. Okay. The restaurant. Remember, smart goals are only smart if they exhibit all five characteristics. Specific, measurables, attainable, relevant, and timely. A chain of restaurants has been using social media strategies to engage with their customers. Can you spot the, the below only the goals that classified as smart goals? Increase email list signups through social media channels by 500 names in five months. Okay. Identify 25 influencers on Twitter to build relationships. Yes, that's a good idea. Increase restaurants visits in three months. Increase the number of female um, of female fans restaurant page by twenty percent. No. Um, yes, those are the right answers. You want to increase the audience. You want to get a, grow your audience, and you also want to then uh, kind of build a relationship with your audience as well. And that's what those uh, answers there are doing. Okay, how to measure success? Okay, again, I'm going to pause here. Just because I'm going to give my voice a break, um, we'll go ahead and pause the video here. If you do want to uh, read on this stuff, you can do now. What can social media measure on social media? Social mentions, uh, reach and exposure, sentimental uh, sentiment, engagement. Again, pause here if you do want to read it. Okay, and uh, last look here if you want to pause. Go ahead and press continue now. Okay, the clothes shop. This should be the last one, hopefully. You've learned that it's important to understand what can be measured on social media and turned into analytics that are useful to marketers, keeping the inform their marketing and business strategy. The clothes shop is using social media and analytics to get insights for their marketing and business strategy. Drag and drop each of the insights below to the correct description, okay. Share of voice, okay. How much the conversation with the target's customers is about the clothes and shops? No. Nope. The number of people who have seen the piece of content shared by the clothes shop? Yep, that's right. Okay, okay, I see. So we've got to drag you down to here. Okay. 
or not. Because it's been a bit weird, I will admit. Okay, right, come on, man. No, come on. Reaching exposure. There we go. Reaching exposure. It's, it's a bit off. Okay, smart. Sentiment, yep. Okay, and there we go. There's our answers. Okay. Pause here if you want the answers. They're going to move on now. Facebook Insights. How many more is they, dear Lord? How to measure success. Again, I'm going to pause here just to give myself a voice uh, to break before I damage my vocal cords. You've got to manage your health first. Uh, health is the first thing to manage uh, first. So go ahead and uh, pause here if you want to read this. Okay. The airline. Blows a list of takeaways from the airline's Facebook insights. Okay. Again, you want to pause there if you want to read this, although it's just uh, like an animation stuff here. Okay, here we go. You need to increase the airline's Facebook fan base by 5% by the end of the next quarter. Uh, consider a conclusion in the airline's Facebook page to help you reach a target. Use the analytics above to inform the answers to the following questions. Okay, to, m to make sure a post reaches a large audience and generates the most engagement for the airline, what would be uh, the best to include? A video, a photo, a photo album, or a comment? A video. Yes. What time would be best to publish a post in the airline Facebook page? Uh, probably at the early morning. Yep, because everyone wants to know what's happening like to the flights at the start of the day. They don't want to know what like halfway through the day and the, the flights already may been missed by several hours. Your recent Posts have been generating a lot of engagement and the airline's fan base on Facebook is growing. Now you'd like to try to reach a new audience. What age groups might like you target? Please set five answers. Okay. So if I'm flying, you may want to... Um, I mean, it's probably going to be young people. More so, it's going to be young people. Um, 18 to 24. I'm going to say 30, 25 to 34. 35 to 44, 45 to 54, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we're going to say 65 plus because you may get people, no, okay, I mean this is kind of, oh wait, you can use it above, can't we, see, Do -do -do. let's have a look, see, 70% of the airline's fans are under 25 years old, okay, okay, so, if, if they're under 25 years old, then we want to go ahead and do any of the other ones that... Okay, one second. One second. We want to do all of these. Well, I think it's just going to be this one, isn't it? No? Well, okay, so we want... I mean, this could be personal preference, really. I mean... It depends on who's going to be flying. I'm just going to say that. The pizza is okay. Right, let's have a look. I mean, it doesn't really help. It doesn't really tell you the information. I've got to admit, it doesn't actually tell you the the um. Seventy percent of the airlines are under twenty five years old. So, fifties. 40s at that. Why is it not? This really, this is why I hate this idea of .org. Although it is good, and although it does offer a lot of help, I mean, like, any answer is not wrong. I'm just saying any answer is, it's up to you what you answer. Whether it's the right answer is a different one. Okay. Airlines so five percent of the next quarter. This is actually a very hard question. Just saying. Twenty-five. Yes. So it won't Okay. Twenty-five. One minute. One minute now. 
25. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, this is going to take a while, isn't it? Why? Why? I just want to know why they've, they've gone like this. Why did they actually do it like this? Please select five answers. Okay. So it's got to be one of these. So let's just do this. Let's go one, 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 one. Okay. Check. Okay, that's not right. So let's go one, two, three, four, five. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now that's not right. So we'll do 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 do. There we go. We'll eventually get it if we do this. Do 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 do. No. Okay. So now we're going to go is going to do leave that on blank. Go there. No. Okay. We're going to leave that one blank and go here. Nope. Leave that one blank and go all the rest ones. Nope. Leave that one blank. But it's not going to work. It's, it's, oh, there we go. Got it, 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 got it. Okay. 25 to 34. Okay, why is it making it so difficult? Okay, there we go. Continue. In this badge, you've learned about the following. Yes, we know that. Okay. Let's go and claim my points. Nice. Well deserved points. Eight points. That wasn't worth eight points. That was worth way more than that. Oh well. So thank you for watching on this another episode of idea.org. Uh, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, as it does help me out. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, my name's Ryan, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.